Hi guys, hello, hello, welcome back to Isam. I'm going to make a very short video on Prosecco. I'm going to be so fast, I'm pretty sure some of you will lose it. But my main target here is to make it fast, comprehensive for you guys, and also I want you to get something from it. So if I, if for, it, in order to do so, basically, what I've done is that I wrote in the description some more details um, about what I'm talking about. Okay, so put your belt, sit down and relax, and just enjoy the ride. Let's go through the Prosecco. Right, what's Prosecco first? Prosecco is a drink, not a grape. The grape is called Glera. Okay, Prosecco is a drink which can be spumante, which means uh, very bubbly, or it can also be frizzante, which means that it is going to be a little bit bubbly, or it can be tranquilo, which means that it's going to be dry, completely flat. So basically a dry white wine, like your Pinot Grigio, if you want but the grape would be Glera, once again. Um, Prosecco is made in northeast of Italy. There is one big city in the region, it's called Venice, and all over that, from Venice going northeast, will be the region of Prosecco. Um, the two regions are called Veneto, and the other one is called Friuli, Venezia, Giulia. Uh, in terms of style after that, you can have, and be, be with, bear with me, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be difficult. Ready? It's going to be dry, and dry means that it's going to be sweet. It can be uh, extra dry, which means that it's going to be medium sweet. And then it can be brute, which means it's going to be actually dry. Okay, I hope you guys got that. It's pretty complicated. Once again, it's all in the description below. And uh, at the end, reading a label with the Prosecco, let me show you one. So here is one of my favorites, made by the domain uh, La Cantina Pizzolato. We are uh, in Veneto. And you can see here, just below Prosecco, is written D O C. And if you look here, up, 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 you've got another one. Maybe you can't see that very well, but this label here is showing exactly the same thing. So these two things, like Prosecco D O C, is one kind of Prosecco. It's the most known one, it's the one you can find anywhere, it's the one with less restriction. However, in order to gain this label, you need to follow some rules. One of the rules, for example, means that you need to have at least 85% in your blend inside that made of the glera. You can use other grapes to, you know, like to put more acidity or a normal flavor, but really by roots, most people use only glera, but you can change that if you like. As far as you use at least 85%. And a Prosecco DOC can be made from anywhere in the two region I mentioned just before. Okay, and then you've got another one which is like a tiny wee area within the Prosecco making region. Uh, which is called uh, Valdobbiadene. And most of the time in that case, or all the time it's going to be written Prosecco, Valdobbiadene, DOCG. That's why this one costs around between, I don't know, 14 and 15 pounds against your Prosecco DOC, which costs around 10 pounds. That's the difference, really, that makes the difference. But also you will taste the difference, very much so. And then to finish, uh, food pairing. I've got good news for you guys. The most consumed dish in the UK is actually Indian curry and also like Thai food actually. I didn't know that but I just realized after my research. And the good news is that Prosecco is absolute best to match with that. Does that mean actually, is this why Prosecco has been so much consumed over the last year that people just realize how much it matches with their food, their favorite food? I don't know. It's pretty amazing though. Just so you know, Prosecco has been the biggest like growth in terms of wine over the last five years. It's huge, it's huge, it's absolutely big, you know. It's beating everyone else. Excellent news for them. Okay, why is this Prosecco working well with your curry or your Thai food? Prosecco tends to be between 10 and 12% ABV, alcohol by volume, and your food, uh, Thai curry and um, uh, jungle curry from India, whatever, any kind of food like this tend to be pretty spicy. Low alcohol plus high spice equal perfect match. That's a good one, it's called structural matching. And then after that you've got flavor matching. Prosecco's got quite delicate aromas of, you know, white flowers, pear drops, a little bit of sometimes, um, um, how do you call that one? Hmm, I forgot, never mind. Um, you know, like you've got like these really nice delicate flavors, uh, white peach as well. So um, it matches pretty well with the curry and the Thai food because you know like they can complement each other without overtaking each other. And that's what you're looking for when you match food and wine. That's it for me this week, peeps. I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, 
As always, you know, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't yet. If you like that, share the video with the people who are actually Prosecco drinker and let's test their knowledge on that. And once again, um, just below, I've put for you some more description, more details about what I just talked about. I wish you all an excellent Sunday and I'll see you next week.